Story time. Who got the tea? Who got the tea? Yeah. Story time. Who got the tea? She got the tea. Yeah. Anything you need to know. Just tune it to the show. You guys to know that like me and Vera have been having like a love affair via Instagram because <laughs> we've never met, and I'm like so excited to meet you and hear about your your product because we haven't had on the show anyone who does something so unique. So I'm really interested to hear. I can't wait to shop, but every time I go on there, everything is all sold out, lady. So that is great. I want to first give you your gift. So I spill tea on my show, so I have a little tea. For you and a oh, nice little tea cup, <laughs> so for you to have later on for you to taste. Um, and we're gonna get started spilling tea because we're gonna have our little tea time with Tori. So you okay. ready? Mm -hmm. So this is the game. I'm gonna ask you like three questions, and first thing that comes to your mind is what I want you to say. Okay. 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 So first question: When it's like time for you and your man to have like you know special time, <laughs> what is your favorite lingerie? Like, what is your go-to piece? Um, I would say my go-to's are usually new, mm -hmm. usually bodysuits. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Why is that? Um, I don't know, that's just what I feel most comfortable in. I feel like with lingerie, um, you should feel confident. So yeah. as long as you're comfortable, you should feel confident. And that's how you're going to look good, so. Perfect. <laughs> okay, so um, when you're thinking about like your designs and style, is there like anything that anyone or any type of brand that you look to for inspiration? For um, lingerie? No, not really. Not really. Um, <laughs> no, not particularly, no. Okay. Yeah. Um, and so the last question, this is going to be a hard one. Are you ready? Okay. Okay. So cheeky panties or thong? Um, I, cheeky panties. <laughs> Why cheeky? Those are my favorite too. I don't know. I, just, I feel like I look the best in them. Like, and cheeky? Thongs are cool. They're a little less comfortable. That's how I feel about them. Yeah. I'm just like, you know, either none or... The cheekies. I'm not. I'm not going with the dog. That's not. That's not for me. Okay. So, um, you are a product of our area, which is one of the big things that I have on the show. People who are from here, which I find to be so important. So, tell me a little bit about yourself, like growing up, because most people are like, okay, I fell into this, or something I always wanted to do. So, like, what is your story, and how was your childhood and things? Okay, so um, I was born in California, but mm -hmm. I kind of grew up in the Maryland area, Catonsville. Mm -hmm. um, I went to Stevenson University. Mm -hmm. I graduated in 2015. So I've been back and forth between like Maryland and Pennsylvania. Um, so yeah, that's my background is in accounting. I got my degree in accounting. That's my day job. Um, <laughs> um, it's not very fun or like creative. So I do try to think of things that I can do, like my little side hustles that are like more creative, mm -hmm. more fun. Um, and when I was younger, I started, I'll tell you more about it later, but <laughs> I started a, um, a swimwear brand with my sister. We were in okay. college. Um, and it was like the summer thing. Like I said, we were in, we were students or whatever. Um, and that was like a lot of fun. And that's kind of like later on this past April when I decided that I wanted to do something else. I was like, oh, maybe I should do swimwear again. And then I kind of like ended up with lingerie. Okay. Yeah. So now, like, since you kind of already started this, so let's talk about the idea for Love Beer because it's like, Everyone that I talk to, like, it seems like everyone's doing some sort of urban wear or, mm -hmm. like, shoes or something. But I so like, how, I'll tell you. How I found you was on Instagram. And I don't know, like, how. It was just, like, I remember somebody had sent something or sent a picture of some lingerie. And I was like, mm -hmm. oh, my God. This is so cute. And then I was following. And I've been, like, following ever since. Uh -huh. But it was just, like, wait, okay, wait, she's from my area, you're lying. I just, like, because uh -huh. I saw the picture, I said, she's got to be from California somewhere. Uh -huh. So when I found you here, I was like, that is so awesome. Thank you. <laughs> so how did you get the idea? So like I said, we did the swimwear line, yes. um, and that was a lot of fun, but eventually, that was in the summertime. I think it was, like, a sophomore in college. It was 2013. Um, it was time for classes to start again, and we were like, okay. My sister was at Temple when I okay. was in Maryland, so it wasn't going to work for us to try to keep it going. So we had to, like, give it up. And so this past April, I was thinking about different ideas for businesses and businesses that I could start. And um, like I said, I thought about swimwear and I was like, I feel like there's a lot of like small um, swimwear brands and like boutiques and stuff like that. So I was like, oh, maybe we could try lingerie. Mm -hmm. um, 
And lingerie is a little bit more challenging just because um, there's so many different sizes, obviously, like bra sizes. Yeah. There's so many different preferences. Like, it's a little bit different from somewhere. Mm -hmm. But I think that's also why there's, like, a lot more opportunity in that space. So then that's why I decided to go with lingerie. Okay, nice. So, let's see. So I looked up and I was looking at your website and I saw that you said, or whoever made your website said, um, that you make lingerie for black women. And mm -hmm. I think that's very interesting to me because it's like, you have now created like something for, you know, people who look like you. So I wanted yeah. to know why was that so important for you to, you know, specify that you're making this for black women? Okay, so um, first of all, like we finally got to the idea of doing lingerie. Um, and we found our photographer, we were kind of, he was in Los Angeles, mm -hmm. and we were finding different models, and we were very diverse. We had Asian models, white models, black models, everything. Um, and there was one model that I came across, um, you'll see her on our website, the girl with the afro. Mm -hmm. And um, She's so pretty, oh She's gosh. really beautiful. <laughs> and her story was like, what was like, oh my gosh, this is a sign, like this is for black women, this is what our brand is gonna represent, for sure. So I'm not sure if you're familiar with Miami Swim Week, but it's kind of like, I guess, I'm not even that sure what it is either, but basically yeah. <laughs> all the models travel down to LA and all mm -hmm. the different brands, and they have all these different fashion shows and things going on. It's like a fashion week, but it's swim week. So um, a lot of the black models were facing like a lot of discrimination and being turned down. Really? Her in particular, yes, it was like all over the she internet. She is beautiful. They literally were like, we're not, we're not looking for women of color. We're not looking for afros. Like we don't want, like specifically telling her that, like wow. to their faces, turning them away. Like, and it was really bad. So then we're like, okay, well, we're gonna hire these black creatives. We're gonna hire black models. We're gonna hire black photographers, everything. We're gonna work with other black brands um, and do our own thing. Like, why are we begging these people to hire us? You know what I mean? Yeah. So um, we decided to work with her and then a couple other models that were dealing with the same thing, the same issues, like having a hard time getting jobs just because they were black. Um, and so now you'll see, it's funny because now it's kind of like a trend. You'll see Victoria's Secret has been using black models, but there'll be, it's just like the token black yeah. girl. It's the token black model. Just to say, oh, we used a black model. Yeah. But now you'll see, um, I'm not sure if you're familiar with like Agent Provocateur. Mm -hmm. They've never in the history of their brand like ever used black models. They I was like, like the other day and I don't recall do you see ever the seeing it's anyone. Insane. I think about I'm like, you're right. I now you click on their website and the first thing you see is a black face. Yeah. Because now it's trendy and now they realize the value of the black dollar and now yeah. they realize the value of the black woman. But why would we settle for that when we can yeah. have our own? You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Um, yeah, so that really inspired me, seeing that story, the Swim Week story, and the way that they were treating these black models. I was like, so, not even so angry, but just like, wow. Like, And so it felt really empowering to like hire these black women and give them jobs and um, just kind of, you know, uplift black women in general. It's not just about selling a product. It's about, you know, we want to build a community. It's yeah. not just about trying to take people's money that's not at all like literally <laughs> yeah it's so much fun i like i'll talk to i was talking to you talking to customers and helping them figure out like their fit and stuff and it's like it's so much fun and yeah. then the feedback that i get it's just like it's, it's amazing, amazing isn't it <laughs> it really is a great feeling like yeah and i think that's like so important it's like mm -hmm. there has to be some more stuff for us done by us mm -hmm. and when you think about it it's like i guess when we were growing up you know we had like the FUBUs and all that stuff. Yeah. And like in our area, we had like Sabiata and all those things that were like by us that we could go and purchase. But it was, yeah. after a while, it just seems like our brand just kind of like dwindled away. Right. I'm like, we have got to bring that back. It's so mm -hmm. important. So I think that is amazing for you. And you're a fairly new business, right? So let's talk about how long you've been established. So like I said, we started working on the idea in April um, and our website officially launched about a month ago. That's what I'm yeah, like, it's a new, so, like, it looks so good. We started working on, like, the website and our, the Instagram page and stuff like that, like, a couple months back, but mm -hmm. we've officially been launched. The website's been live and everything for a month now, so. And how has that been? Have you been getting a lot of business from We that? have. It's been really exciting. Like, I'm, like, overwhelmed with, like, the support and just everything. Like, of course, like, I knew my friends and family yeah. was supporting stuff, but just all these, like, random new people that are, like, that go so hard for my beer. <laughs> it's, like, so exciting. Like, it's good. It's really nice. Like, it's been great. So how was the photo shoot? Because I think what really drew me when I saw, like, the, the Instagram and stuff mm -hmm. was not just that the model was so pretty, like, everything that, like, they were wearing was so 
cute and like the attention to detail it like fit them perfectly mm -hmm. so like how did that whole photo shoot because i always feel like when we do these businesses like oh to get professional models is going to cost too much or to yeah. get proper photographers is going to cost too much and you pay for it mm -hmm. in the end every time and your brand is like perfection like i really don't have any like critique it's like everything is so awesome you just want to look at the page all day uh -huh. and it's like from the same shoot and every time you put something it's like it's brand new mm -hmm. so like how was that so um content we felt like was very important especially if you're going to use like facebook and instagram things like that to get your business going um and i mean word of mouth is pretty big too but yeah. still content is like really important to us so like a, we found the, the um, photographer first. He yes. was located in Los Angeles, so we decided that we were going to travel there. Um, so that's what we did. We found the models. I was talking to everybody ahead of time. They hadn't seen me, and you know I don't have personal social media. Yeah. So by the way, <laughs> Love Mirror is not on social media. So if you want to talk to her, you're talking to her through Shop Love Mirror because she does not have one. This face, this pretty girl, does not have an Instagram. In case you're looking to follow her, you won't be able to do so. <laughs> Thank you. But yeah, so I don't have a personal, so I was just like talking to them via email, yeah. phone, everything, and then didn't meet them until we got there. Um, before I got there, I kind of was like checking everybody out, their looks, their hair, everything to figure out what I thought would fit each model best. Mm -hmm. So before I got there, I was very organized and making sure like she's going to wear these pieces, she's going to wear these pieces, you know. Um, we, I found the location on like, there was a website where you can look at all these different venues okay. to um, set up your photo shoots or whatever you want to do. So when I found that location, the, the dollhouse, I was like, this is absolutely perfect for lingerie. <laughs> like, I don't even know, like, we're going to be planning another photo shoot scene. I'm like, I don't know how we're going to top this. It's just like, it was like it's so, so good. perfect. It was. So we got there. All the models had great attitudes. The the okay. photographer, the makeup artist, like it was amazing. Everybody, it was like such a good vibe. It was like, meant to be. It really was. <laughs> and it's funny because before, like we were ordering the samples and the products and stuff, and like I was just trying the stuff on. I never tried it on anybody else. So like to see the product on models and everything, like it was amazing. Like I wanted to cry. <laughs> like I was just like, they they look so good. Like this is really coming out exactly how like better than I was whatever expect. Like it was. It was amazing. Like, it was a great feeling. Good. Yeah. So, I know, like, the business has got to be, like, taking off. Like, mm -hmm. so for you, like, what is, like, your process? Because I think about lingerie. The same thing I think about clothes. Like, how do you come up with your design? Yeah. Like, how do you pick what fabric and what color? And mm -hmm. I know, like, like I said, the website's only been launched. But every time I go on there, sold out, sold out, sold out. So, like, how are you keeping up with this, like, uptake in your business, like, overnight? Um, It's kind of – I told you I have a day job. I don't have yes. an account, obviously. So, Literally, I work on it every single day. Like when I come home, we're a team of three. Okay. Um, and then we obviously hire people, contractors to do stuff for like the website mm -hmm. and things like that. Um, but yeah, it's just the grind. Like <laughs> literally, like I'll come home from work, I might get home at seven o'clock and just go and get the stuff together, ship out all the packages. Um, mm -hmm. And like I said, obviously, like I said, we're a small team, but we all like work very well together. Um, just like a smooth process, but. So how does the design pieces kind of come about and like so picking up the fabrics? We that? specifically work with ma different manufacturers okay. right, that already have the designs. Um, in terms of like choosing which designs we wanted to sell, it was a little difficult, honestly, because it's easy to look and see what I might like, you yeah. know what I mean? But you're not going to necessarily, just because I like something doesn't mean you're going to like it or whoever, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So um, we kind of got feedback from fam family members, friends, and they kind of told me, like, oh, I like body suits, I like these types of colors. And then once we started building our following on Instagram, I kind of would get feedback from some of our potential customers, like what they would like to see also. And then that's, from there, I was able to come up with like a good variety of different designs that all different types of women might like. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Yeah, so that part was, you know, and now we're like working on like, private label like actually me coming up with designs and having oh, nice. something so I'm like super excited That's we don't want to do that first because we wanted to get a feel for what people like first you know yeah. it's a big investment to start yeah. going into private label and designing your own stuff because you don't know if people are gonna like it you don't know what people like off the bat sure now that we have a good feel for what people like I think that I'm like super excited about that like next step so that'll be like what's coming next for you like yes. in the near or like a year from now we're working like... on it now so, oh awesome yeah. so I always like ask people because like when you have like a brand or something that you're selling, it's always like, oh, I would love for such and such to be wearing this. Like mm -hmm. it's anybody you could pick that was like, okay, if she wore this, like I know like this is gonna be it for the business. We're gonna like skyrocket. Like who would that <laughs> be for you? Um, 
So I'm working with like a number of different influencers now, just mm -hmm. like, but some of my favorite models are like Leomi Anderson, mm -hmm. um, she's Victoria's Secret, obviously, but like, um, <laughs> um, there's a couple of different people that I would like love to see, Winnie Harlow, people like that, but, um, you know, like I said, I'm starting with like smaller influencers that I, I've always like kind of like looked up, like admired or whatever. Um, so yeah, I'm excited to... Okay, Miss Winnie, we're going to be blowing up your inbox with things and sending you things, ladies, so hopefully you know this is coming to you. That's awesome, and I think I think that would be great. I think that's, like, something that you really, like, would look forward to, and it would be, like, really nice for your business. Like, I'm just so excited for you. Yeah. So, uh, since you are very new, and since you do have a day job, like, I like to let people at home know, like, some of the challenges you face and some, like, the triumphs that you've been experiencing, because... Mm -hmm. Everyone wants to be an entrepreneur, everyone wants to own a business, but it gets very complicated. And I don't yeah. think that people see the, like you said, the behind the scenes grind that you go through. So yeah. what would you say is a challenge and like some of the triumphs or whatever that you've been through so far? Um, like you said, one of the challenges is the fact that I still have a nine to five um, yeah. and I work very hard in my job now. And then I come home and I'm like totally exhausted, but I'm, I'm so excited too, because I can't sit here and complain and be like, oh, I have so many orders to fulfill today. It's like, that's what you wanted. That's a blessing. Like, why yeah. would you complain about that? So that's one of the challenges. Um, there's, you know, it's always a little something going on, you know, but um, I don't know. Like I would say, that's definitely one of the biggest challenges. Like, trying to keep the balance and stay motivated. Um, but I mean, I'm having been, I haven't had too much of a hard time staying motivated, but just, you know, it's hard work. Yeah. It definitely is. Um, but I'm having a good time, so. Oh, good. And what has been some good things for you so far? Because I know it's probably been outweigh any challenges you probably could have had so far. Um, like I said, the support has been, like, really great. Um, that's been the best part, definitely. Like I said, we really are, like, and that was my main goal, like, building a community. Um, just kind of, like, like I said, empowering people, being able to hire other black women, and um, just being, like, a positive image. Like, that's really important to me, so... That's been great to be able to do that. Okay, nice. So, um, what advice would you give to people who want to start a business of their own, or even if they wanted to get into lingerie? Because, like you said, it's like not easy to do this. Mm -hmm. um, what type of advice would you give them? Um, the main th one of the main things I would say is don't compare yourself to other people. Comparison mm -hmm. is a thief of joy. So, if I'm sitting here and I'm like looking at other girls on Instagram, I'm like, oh, she did this and she did that, and you know, she has this many followers, like. Just focus on yourself and yeah. you will do so much better. Like, I'm not trying to compete with anybody else. I'm just focusing on myself, um, not worrying about what other people are doing. Um, and then another thing, like when I started, when we first started the business, um, I was just kind of like, I'm not telling anybody. I'm, gonna really? tell, I'm not going to tell anybody. Like, until I'm like fully invested in this and I know this is what I want to do and I can't talk myself out of it and nobody else can talk out of it. I'm not going to, not saying that you sh other people shouldn't tell, but yeah. it, it helps, honestly. I didn't tell, I didn't tell anyone either. That's why I was so funny that you said, because I didn't tell like anyone. I think I like started to tell like my parents and yeah. like a very small group of friends, mm -hmm. but no one knew anything until like the logo dropped. And yeah. everyone was like, oh, what is this? And I'm like, you still yeah. won't know anything uh -huh. until the show drops. Like, uh -huh. Just because I don't think it's like there's so many naysayers and so much negativity, and if right. you really want to, or you're trying to do something, you gotta stay focused. Mm -hmm. and... Because people be like, "Oh, everybody's doing that," or yeah. "Oh, why, uh, something I got a lot was like, oh, why would you use all black models? Why would you close yourself off from the rest of the market? Because you can't be everything for everybody. First yeah. of all, you need a niche, and second of all, like I've already decided it, so <laughs> you can't talk about it. I made my decision already. And it's already, you know, it's hard enough already yeah. when you start to doubt yourself and you're kind of nervous like when we launched I was like so nervous I'm like this is the first day I'm so scared what if nobody buys anything like you know what I mean yeah so it's already scary enough so once you get into the process and you're yeah. already starting you know for a fact this is what I'm gonna do you may have already spent money whatever it is you tie things down you know what you want to do just do it like seriously yeah. that, don't let anybody talk you out of it um what other advice would I give I don't like I said I work on my dream every single day like yeah. there's not a day that goes by of course sometimes I come home from work or whatever and I'm just like I just want to go to sleep but I don't I never do like because it's it's just so important to just be persistent and you know keep going every day yeah we got a lot of that like most people say advice I give you is just do it I think that's like the hardest part about it is like actually sitting down thinking of the idea and then like talking or something to do with it right. and I feel like if you can get past that point 
everything else is just like kind of a breeze. You have to motivate yourself. Definitely. Um, so for you, I know you say like now you're working on your own line, but mm -hmm. like where would you see, like when you get to XYZ point, you'll say, okay, no, y'all love Vera. We have made it. Uh -huh. Our team, we have done this with the work in. Like where would that level of like success be for you? What would your idea goal or dream be? Um, like I said, once I get to the point where it's really legit, like it's a community, um, people know about it and it's, you know, people already know like about the quality and, and just know about our products already. Um, that would be great. I also want to get to the point where we're promoting other black businesses. Mm -hmm. So like, I don't know if you see like every once in a while, I'll do a giveaway with mm -hmm. other black brands. Um, or I'll just randomly shout out like a black product that I came across. Um, and usually smaller businesses, yeah. but bigger ones too. Um, when I get to the point where I can like inspire other people and also like bring people up with me, and I think that that's when I'll put like, oh, I really like I'm, I'm really doing something. <laughs> yes, um, that's really important to me. Like I, I just want to help like everybody. I don't want it to just be about Love Vera. So, so my other question I wanted to talk about I was asking earlier. You decided to do your name, mm -hmm. um, which I found interesting because. I've been told, like for me, and like I said, me and my logo and everything, it's mm -hmm. my face uh -huh. with my name on it. Yeah. Which is fine, I guess, but it's like if you want somebody to wear like a t shirt or something, I have it has my name on it. Yeah. So what made you decide to go with Vera? You know, your name, you. Even though you don't have a social media presence, uh -huh. which you say, okay, I want this brand to be my name. Like, why, mm -hmm. why did you come to that? It's funny because I definitely think, you know, using your name is bold. Because if bold. you lose, <laughs> your name is on it. And if you win, your name is on it. So yeah. that's the plus side. But you look at all these different, I'm not a designer or anything like that yet or whatever. Yeah. But it's like you have Steve Madden, you have Vera Wang, you have Betsy Jones. Like, why can't we put our name on it? You mm -hmm. know what I mean? It seems bold, but I have confidence in myself and in my brand. So I'm not afraid to put my name out there and win or lose you know what I mean yeah so that's no, why it's funny we went through so many different names um but love beer just clicked and I just you know you just know when something it was meant to something. be like you know that's how you know because it's like okay uh -huh. all these names then you land on your own uh -huh. <laughs> so it's like it's perfect uh -huh. so I know you said you have something here for me in this I bag do. here <laughs> so let's see what it is oh, this is exciting for me sorry guys <laughs> let's see what it is Oh my goodness. Okay, so we're going to talk about this. This Well, maybe you can talk about this little piece here. I have been trying to get this from her website, and it is sold out every time. Mm -hmm. And tell the people at home what the name of this little piece is here. This piece is named Tori. Ah! <laughs> if you were wondering, it's funny. <laughs> I saw that and said, oh, nope, nope, it's that's it, me. it's meant to be. It's perfect. How did you come up with this? I know you said you like body suits. I thought it was just so cute. And mm -hmm. on the monitor, it was like, oh, it didn't hurt my gaze. Literally. Like, I had to go to the gym. It's okay. <laughs> because I just feel like, okay, you know what? When I get to be cute, I'll definitely wear it. But like, how, and like, I want to ask you that too. How did you decide about these names? Because like, all of your pieces have names. Mm -hmm. And they're all girl names. So yeah. I'm like, oh, Tori. <laughs> so like, how did you come up with those? Um. If you look around, there are like a couple different brands that use mm -hmm. women's names. So the names that I chose were kind of like, I felt like like women's names. Um, like one of them is Serena. Obviously, mm -hmm. I love Serena. So <laughs> yeah, so that's why I named it after that. So some of them are um, after people that I'm inspired by. Yoli, that's my, my mother's name is Yolanda. Oh, okay. Um, Gigi is my stepmother. My sisters, like people just who inspired me in my life, um, I've named it. And then some of the names are random. I don't know anybody besides you now. Name Tori. <laughs> and that's cut Tori. So it's so funny because I was like, yeah. I looked at it, I said, this, this isn't right. I said, this is not named Tori. And it was like my favorite piece. So uh -huh. like, You're Which is like, it's not that that's everybody's favorite piece. And like I said, sold out. It wasn't necessarily my favorite piece. But really? that's why I'm, when you're doing a business and whatever and you're selling a product, it's like you can't just think, you have to think outside of the box. Mm -hmm. And you have to say, okay, um, what do you think other people might like? And even like reach out to other people. And it's funny, some people may not give you feedback. Some people are like not that supportive, whatever. But I focus on the people that are supportive. Yes. So that's funny because I said I didn't tell anybody. So the first time <laughs> that I decided to start telling friends and family, I sent out a survey. Um, okay. Basically like, oh, oh your business mind. I sent out a survey. <laughs> literally like a Google survey. Like, oh, what's your bra size, panty size? Um, and I may have asked like what 
um, like what type of styles you like or whatever. I can't exactly remember because it was the first survey. Mm -hmm. um, and some people responded, some people didn't. But it was just kind of like, like I said, I was at the point where I was like, I don't, I'm not going to focus on who doesn't support me. I'm going to focus on yes. people that do. Because that's, that's just like such a blessing that anybody supports you. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So, um, yeah. Okay. <laughs> So, thank you so much for coming. I've been so excited. And it was so crazy. It's just like, everybody has been like, we go to interview with Vera. We go to interview Vera. We've never seen Vera. I was like, oh, okay. That's so funny. I was like, all right. I'm going to get the interview with Vera. It's coming. I promise you. So, I'm so happy that you took the time to come and speak to me. I am. You have definitely had a customer out of me. You definitely have a customer out of all my friends. And I've been posting stuff like crazy. And they're like, let us know. We can do everything. I said, we will. So please let the people at home know where they can follow you, where they can purchase all your things, like anything that you would want us to do, and like feedback and help you with your business or okay. you know, we can promote it. Let us all know. Okay, so the website is www.shoploveVera.com and our Instagram page is shoploveVera. Um, what else? <laughs> <laughs> Anything that we can do for you or like if there's any like if you say you like feedback, is there like yeah. comments we should be leaving or like okay. obviously purchase. Right. Purchase. So if you wanna <laughs> leave any feedback on some designs that you don't see that you might be interested in, then um let us know colors, sizes, designs, whatever that you might be interested in. Um, if you're an influencer or another small black business and you'd like to collaborate on a giveaway or anything, just let us know. Um, we're always looking for to work with other brands, so yeah. Okay, that is perfect. And again, I say thank you so much. Thank you all for tuning in. This has been so exciting for me. And I want to say thank you. And please make sure to support her business and all the other businesses that I've been featuring on my show so far. I really am looking forward to hearing you guys' feedback also about my show and about our guests. And please flood their inboxes with all the thanks and the love. And I appreciate you guys so much. So until next time, thanks for tuning in. What the fuck, 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 what the fu